you still have your Spurs shirt? Your, top, I, your Tottenham shirt. You still have it? I have it. Uh, I will say that I'm I'm not shopping for a new team, but everyone <laughs> associates me with Tottenham <laughs> because yeah. I got to go on the pitch. Yeah. Mm. Um, an iconic photo of me in a, a Tottenham shirt. Oh, cool. uh, everyone relates to me as a Tottenham fan. Mm. Just for the football universe, I am shopping for a team. So we'll see. I know oh. Ma- Matthew is pushing hard for... Uh, his certain favorites. I'm not gonna not gonna name any names, right. but he's trying to draw me away from the Spurs. Oh, they're doing quite well at the moment. Though, so. I I oh, know, but you, you, you know, know ups and downs, ups and downs. <laughs> yes. uh, guys, congratulations on the film. Thank, Thank you so much. Uh, I spoke to Matthew earlier, and he was telling me about how he wanted to make this kind of a bit of a throwback to some of the films that he loved when he was growing up. Some of the '80s. He mentioned Die Hard and Lethal Weapon and Romancing mm-hmm. the Stone. Was that kind of the elevator pitch to you guys that he wanted to? bring that kind of energy to, to this film? Or, I mean, how, what was your first meeting like with, with him? You express energy. You're the, yeah. <laughs> you are the, the beacon of energy for this whole film. Thank you, that's very kind. I mean, I uh, sat down with Matthew. We, we made this movie during the pandemic, by the way. And I, um, I'd, been, I'd made musicals up until then, and I, I put myself on tape. I made him like a two minute tape, and he asked to meet with me after, and I was like, oh my God. And that was the elevator pitch. He was like, it's a throwback, and it's this, and da-da-da, and romancing the stone. It sort of feels like, you know, the cliché types of, of spy movies, you know, but, like, different. And also, disco music. And I was like, cool. If you want me, I'm yours, my dude. <laughs> um, and his brain, just watching, watching him talk about the thing he loves to make, like, I was just like, that passion, I want to work with that guy. Yeah, it's great. And for you, John, doing all the action movies, working with someone like—I mean, he has such a great, unique visual style of action comedy and all the other bits in between. What was it like for you, having done all the action stuff, to work with him? Poor Matthew Vaughn trying to sell his concept to me, knowing that I'm already in. <laughs> like, it's a dream to be able to work with him. And I remember his pitch of like, "Hey, this is my idea, but in the future, I see it something exponentially bigger." If he says, "Well, I got to stop you right there," I'm in. I don't care what tomorrow mm-hmm. brings. You have this idea. I love your ideas. Let's nice. let's go to work. Yeah. It was that easy. Easy. And you guys have uh, in your films and in your in your other careers lots of lots of skills, singing, dancing, action, all other things. Computers, new Steve Jobs and everything. Did you yeah. learn anything interesting that you've now put into your real life about computers or that I should fun? No, just that I should be better with them. <laughs> De- deficient is a, is a word. Same. Not that I need improvement. I am deficient. Deficient. Yes. Yeah. I don't know that I could actually hack anything. Yeah. Is that subtle life. art, isn't there? Of type, oh, the tons. typing. Code? What? The, the, see these? If you actually put on screen what I typed? <laughs> <sighs> Man. Yeah. yeah. Deficient. That's not, that's the, don't let that catch That's the movie bag. magic. <laughs> it's absolute movie yeah. magic for you. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and, th- I mean, this cast is just incredible. I mean, from top to bottom, it's just... Wonderful. What's it like to go to work with these these people? And and do you do you f- obviously you shot it during the pandemic? So was it yeah. did it feel a little bit different given the restrictions and everything else? But I can imagine you've had so much fun with these guys because everyone seems to have just have bought into Buffy's vision. The moments were great, but I think what's uh, interesting about an ensemble is you don't always spend all the time with each other yeah. unless it's situationally dependent. If there was a scene where you're all locked in a room together, but even though it was filmed in the pandemic, like you expressed, you still, when you watch Argyle, you have a sense of authentic enjoyment from everyone. Mm -hmm. And I think when you get an all-star team together and you allow everyone to shine and nobody's kind of fighting for a spot, that's when it it makes everyone special and you get a special movie. And Matthew Vaughn has done that with Argyle. He's allowed everybody to show their strengths and take some brave, courageous steps to try to do a lot of different stuff. Yeah. And in turn, we we have a great movie to show for it. I also find it funny that Henry Cavill seemingly can do no wrong and pull off that hairstyle because it's quite a mm-hmm. it's quite a hairstyle, right? Only but, he. I really well, think only he. Honestly, a lot of uh, a lot of espionage and uh, it comes with confidence. Yes. A lot of sexiness comes with confidence. Yes. It's not necessarily like, man, he can pull off that hairstyle. He does it with such courage and confidence. It's undeniable. Of like, yeah, that's that's cool. I need to get me one of those. I'm yeah, working. Sure. I'm working on mine. I'm trying to square it out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah indeed. He's getting yeah. there. Yeah, me too. Yeah. He, did, he wears it really well, actually. We both have challenges, my friend. We both have challenges. <laughs> well, do, you, do you think he would be a good Bond, though? Everyone always asks that question about Henry mm. and James Bond. It seemed to go... I think he's good at anything. He puts hand. his mind to, you know? Yeah, I don't know. I, I 
that's a that's a story for them to tell. And right now yeah. we're telling the Argyle story, and he's yeah. damn good in Argyle. Yeah. So. He really is. And more. Yeah. I get to make more Argyle. I'm, I'm with so you. I hope the yeah. world agrees because I'd love to do it again. Yeah. Fingers crossed. Uh, guys, thanks so much for your time. Pleasure talking Thank to you. Thank you. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys. Hey, hey You Guys. <laughs> hey You Guys. <laughs> Hey, that's what they all say. Hey, you guys. Hey, you guys.